Today we're going to be doing Pep's 3331. We've done that last year and you guys loved it. Now this tactic absolutely cooks in the current match engine. We want every single trophy possible with Man City while maintaining 63% of the ball. Yes, it's designed for top teams before any comments get suggested, but let's get into the testing. If you've got the team to play with it, it's one of the funnest systems you can possibly play. So we are going to start looking at this view again because I do prefer it. We can actually have a little bit of time looking at all the competitions without giving it all away from the start and we can actually see where the weaknesses were, where the strengths were. Now, I will say in this, there was not a single weakness as we win every single trophy possible. That is going to be seven, including the Club World Championship. The Premier League, we only lose three, I mean, three games out of everything is absolutely incredible. Erling Haaland with 79 goals and picking up the highest average rating. Julian Alvarez with 47 assists. He did play a ton of football this season. Obviously, when you are playing that sort of attack and football, players like Alvarez guarantee first team football. Ortega picks up the best pass completion, 138 goals in the league and only 38 conceded and zero, zero red cards. So the Champions League, we are going to win against PSG coming in in 5-2 fashion. So quite a comfortable final there. In terms of the Super Cup against Sevilla, 5-1. So these cups are actually quite the batter and Luton, 4-1 Luton. Fair play for getting to the FA Cup final. The Carabao Cup against Everton, 3-2. Give us our best final. So any Everton fans, fair play to you. And lastly, the Community Shield is going to come in in 3-2 against Arsenal as well. So only two of the finals actually being quite challenging. The rest of them, I'm going to say it, we absolutely walked away with at the end of the day. Now, team stat-wise, we are going to have a look. As you can see, most points per game. We've discussed the goals. The shots, though, 840, which is really good because we're still having, we are dominating possession, but also we are having a lot of shots, which means we're not having useless possession, which is a real bit pet peeve of mine is we have a lot of possession, but you do nothing with it. We are scoring and we are having shots at goal. The most clean sheets. And of course, we are going to be joint second with Liverpool when it comes to the fewest conceded. So a very, very, very strong season right there. Now, Data Hub wise, we are going to look at 3.63 goals per game. It's going to be one goal conceded and you are going to concede a goal a game playing this attack and football, but you can go out and score over three. So really, it doesn't matter. I will say it again. I said it in the intro. It's definitely designed for a top team. Pep has only managed top teams, which is why you do not see a Luton being tested with in this sort of tactic video. Over 22 shots a game, a great pass completion, and a great tackle win ratio. That is quite the solid start. And I suppose we will watch that Champions League final. Obviously, it is seven goals. And we actually did go down to 10 men quite late on into the game. But that is a blinder of a start from De Bruyne. Winning it back from Mendes there and tucking it into the right-hand side. Which, by the way, was in 19 seconds. That might be a channel record for the quickest goal ever scored personally over on here. Bernardo Silva again plays it back into Walker or Alvarez back into De Bruyne who sticks it into the bottom right and Bappe then steps up. It's a decent penalty to be fair. So at this point it is going to be 2-1. Looks like we are now going to make it 3-1 though with Foden into Alvarez into Haaland and you can see there why you should be getting this tactic. When you're playing football like that you cannot complain. It is beautiful football. We're going to go again here to make it 4-1 with Silva into Haaland. He's going to go alone on this occasion and just blitz his way through the back line and it's an incredible finish from Erling Haaland. Is it going to be a mistake here? We actually have Kyle Walker in goal. Now, that is quite a funny, quite a funny occasion. So this will be quite interesting. Do you know what? He couldn't have done anything about the goal anyway. Fair play. He had to step in goal. He'd done his job as best he could possibly do. But we do wrap it up 5-2 here with Delap into Guavardio, into Rodrigo, who stuffs it into the bottom left corner. Up next and over to Germany, of course, it is going to be Pep's former team. That is going to be FC Bayern. We come out and we put on an absolute masterclass in the league, winning it just about, I will say just about, maybe not a masterclass, but we get the job done. It is quite close with Leipzig in second place. I will say this 3-3-3-1 actually probably performed best in England, probably because no other teams play in a free back really, and you can just completely catch everyone off guard. But we got the job done. That is the main thing. We also do in the pocket against Leipzig in 5-2 fashion and the Super Cup against Leipzig in 4-1 fashion. Sorry, Leipzig fans, because we have done the Bundesliga, you come second, the Pockel, you come second, the Super Cup, you come second. Remarkable stuff. 126 goals scored, 48 conceded. So we did concede a fair few more, actually only ranking sixth best. But we did outscore everyone as well, which is why this tactic still performs very well in this regard. 46 goals being scored and Leroy Sale picking up 7.68 when it comes to the highest average rating. And a joint most assists, which I do love to see loads of players getting involved. 
23 assists out of Komen and Leroy Sane indeed. Now, team stat-wise, we are going to look at the most goals as we discussed at 126. The most shots, the most possession. So these three stats you're always going to dominate. You really, really are. Joint first with the most points, of course, with RB Leipzig right there, meaning we did win on the goal difference, which does show how many goals we are scoring because we are conceding goals. That is no secret. But we are going out and outscoring everyone and still winning leagues. Fewer's conceded, we are going to be down into sixth place and clean sheets, we are going to be in fourth place. But again, it really doesn't matter because we are conceding way less to what we are going to be scoring. Now, data hub wise, we are going to look at 1.41 goals per game conceded, but 3.71 going out and scoring, which is easily going to cancel out the goals you are going to be conceding. Over 17.5 shots a game, a great pass completion, and a fantastic tackle win ratio. These stats are looking very, very appealing. And of course, that Pockle final, again, another seven goal game here. We get off to a bit of a bad start, actually. RB Leipzig tucked the ball in the back of the net with a Sesco header, which is no surprise there. But we do come back with Musiala down the right, and a shock and defending there. Haidara makes some error of it and Thomas Muller does get us back into the game. Harry Kane puts us ahead at 2-1 just before half time. Leipzig bounce back to be fair to them. Credit where it is due to tie up 2-2 just 10 minutes after a absolute stinker from our goalkeeper right there. And at this point is where we flip the switch. I went, I will say, just to those that are wondering, do I switch? I did switch tactic. I went to the attack and variant to try and wrap this up. And this is what we've done. We absolutely took over with Sade down the right-hand side, into the middle, into Harry Kane to make it 3-2. And we actually had time to go and score two more goals. And this was still on the attack and variant. I wanted to kill the game off. And that's exactly what Kingsley Coman done there with a great touch and a great finish into the bottom right. And we go again here with Delit into Musiala, out right into Missouri. He's going to take his time back into the middle. It's an easy finish. We'll take it. And lastly, over to probably the weakest sort of performance out of the three. That is going to be Barcelona. And I am going to include it in the video. I'm not going to hide from the fact. At the end of the day, the results we get are the results we get. Now, over in Spain, we didn't have the best time in the league. I will say we did have a great time when it comes to the Spanish Cups, though. We are going to win the Spanish Cup against Real Sociedad, I believe that is, in 2-1 fashion, away from home. And the Spanish Super Cup in 2-0 fashion against Atletico Madrid. Now, the league, Real Madrid was simply too good. Simple as that true story in real life. They are absolutely phenomenal and they got the job done there. Still a very good season and don't get me wrong, we were second by quite some points indeed. In terms of the goals scored though, we are still being the best goal scoring team. We are conceding the fourth amount, fourth best amount of goals, should I say. Lewandowski did thrive in the system with 47 goals. Rafinha was 7.42 on the average rating. Ferran Torres with 19 assists and to Stegen with a 97% pass completion. Possession-wise, we do favour Madrid with 60% of the ball. We're outscoring them, but the weakness obviously is going to be that defensive record. Now, I would honestly say if you are playing in the Spanish league, I would deploy the defensive variant because you're not going to score as many, but you are going to have more possession and therefore end up conceding less goals. And a lot of the games were very close, sort of one nil defeats or one goal defeat, should I say, not one nils. But we did we did get the job done. There's two Spanish trophies. Overall, I'm very happy with how the tactic has performed. But this is probably the weakest to spin. Not the most we've conceded, though, at 1.18. We still scored over three goals a game. I just think Madrid were absolutely flying. Over 17 shots a game, a great pass completion, and a good, to be fair, the tackle win ratio, not looking too bad either. Credit where it is due. Let's go and watch some highlights. It's not the dream end to the Teston, but it got the job done. That Spanish Cup final was close. Where I mean, to be fair to Real Sociedad, they didn't just let us win it for free, as they actually do go 1-0 up inside of 35 minutes. And again, I had to whip out the attack and vary to even get back into the game, which we did do with the Yong in the 55th minute into Pedri. Great pass and play and a great equaliser. And we actually went around about 10 minutes after and grabbed the winner in 2-1 fashion, as we are aware, with Balde into Torres, goes alone. Beautiful finish. We'll take it. Of course, over to your favourite part of the video. That is going to be the free tactic breakdowns. If you want to get all three of the tactics, get the tactics early, the mobile and the console version of this tactic. You want to get help with your tactics. You want to get the rebuild files, priority and request, access to giveaways, and so much more. You can come check out the Patreon in the description below, where there is over 3,570 people. Absolutely loads of people. Come over and get involved. Honestly, the community there is absolutely amazing. But let's go ahead and talk through this tactic. So it is going to be a sweeper keeper who is simply going to be set to support. Very important we use wide centre-backs in this system who are both simply going to be on the default because we don't really want them doing anything too crazy. Definitely don't want them shooting more often, for example, or taking too many passing risks. So they are going to be set to the default. A central defender is going to come in on the cover. Very important to have one player a little bit deeper than the other two just to sort of pick up any loose balls in behind and be a little bit closer to that goalkeeper. Also makes it very 
very easy for Edison to pass to him because he is so deep. The DM is going to be a much needed role in this team, which is going to be on defend, on tackle harder. You can use an anchor, I will say for anyone that is going to ask that question, but do not go too aggressive. Do not have a Valante, for example. It needs to be a very defensive minded player. A winger on the right is going to be set to support on pass at shorter, run wides and tackle harder. Obviously, these inverted options are going to come inside, meaning the wingers can replace them and create a good overload. On the left hand side, it's going to be exactly the same because we are going to replicate what we are doing on the right hand side. On the left, I have gone with an inside forward zone attack on pass at shorter and sit narrower. And on the right, I've gone with an inverted winger on the exact same instruction. So to clarify, pass at shorter and sit narrower. In the middle, we've gone with a shadow striker on attack on pass at shorter and roam from the position. And up front, the Erling Haaland, we are going to go with the advanced forward simply on attack. So now, all based off a custom Tiki Taka on the positive mentality, we are going to go all the way down to fairly narrow. We're going to play out from the back. This is going to be set down to much shorter with that slightly higher tempo. We're going to work the ball into the box and we're going to have low crosses. It's simple, but trust me, very effective. In transition, just the three things to talk about. We are going to play to the centre backs. We are not going to tell Edison exactly what to do. He can roll it out or take short goal kicks. We are going to counter attack and we are also going to hit them with the counter press. And lastly, we are going to go with that high pressing line of engagement. In real life, Pep would deploy a higher defensive line. But for this balance variant, I have gone with a standard line because it's a little bit more consistent in terms of keeping the ball. So that's the only thing where it's probably not the same as in real life because the match engine will not allow it. That might change in the attack second variant where we are going to full send but for the default tactic you simply can't get away with it in this game we are also going to prevent some goalkeeper distribution and we're going to have this set to more often. Go to the attacking variant for a tactic where you're trying to go and, you know, score more goals. Maybe you're drawing a game. You want that little bit of an extra oof to obviously go out and get the job done. The goalkeeper is going to remain the same as is the central defender on cover. Both of the wide centre backs are still going to be on the default, but they are now going to be on support. So they're still going to be obviously great defensively, but they are going to be a bit more progressive when it comes to building up the play. A deep line playmaker comes in who is obviously still going to be there to defend and help the back line, but be a bit more progressive by making more direct passes. And of course, winning the ball back aggressively by tackling harder the winger on the left and also the right are going to be exactly the same because they just do their job nice and simple the inside forward on the left is now going to be on shoot more often and sit narrower and on the right is going to be exactly the same but as an inverted winger now of course only have these instructions on if your inverted wingers inside forwards whatever you want to say have got at least sort of 12 to 13 finishing otherwise you're going to become very frustrated when they keep stuffing it past the post so make sure your players have got good finishing in the middle is going to be a shadow striker on pass at shorter and of course Rome and lastly we are going to have the Erling Haaland the advanced sword on attack on this occasion we've also got shoot more often so again custom tiki tacker but this time it is still going to be on positive but it is going to change a little bit so we are still going to go with fairly narrow we're going to play out from the back with the addition of pass into space just to get that deep line playmaker really pinging the balls in behind we're going to go to much shorter still the tempo is now going to be maxed out because of course there is a bit of urgency to the game we're going to have the low crosses on but we are also going to add on be more expressive so a very similar style just set at a higher tempo a bit more attacker minded in transition it is basically the same so it's going to be the counter press the counter play into the center backs nothing selected here but we are in a rush so we're going to distribute quickly see as i said for the default tactic it didn't really work but if you are desperate for a goal and you don't mind being a little bit more defensively vulnerable we are going to have this set to the higher line more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Or to defend those games out, well, it is going to look a little bit different. It still is a tr like a treble three one, as you can see. You're free, you're free, you're free, and you're one. But we are now going to introduce fullbacks or wingbacks into the system. So the goalkeeper remains the same as does the central defender, as does the original Y centre backs back simply on defend. The wingbacks on the right and the left are going to be a little bit different. So on the right, we're going to have a wingback on support simply on the default, and on the left, we're going to have an inverted wingback, the Guavardio of the team, on support simply on the default, who naturally is going to gain four instructions anyway. The DM comes back in on support on this occasion on tackle harder. The inverted winger on the right is going to be on support on pass at shorter and sit narrower. A winger on the left, obviously no point having him invert as well as we've got an inverted option on the left anyway. Now a default winger simply on pass at shorter. An attacker midfield player on pass at shorter and of course Rome. And Erling Haaland, the advanced sword, is going to remain unchanged. Now the great thing about this is these three players, especially all on pass at shorter, link up very well as a team. They're going to be very easy passing from 
from wing back and invert a wing back to winger. It's just a really good way of keeping the ball. And it, trust me, possession wise, it was crazy. Now for the team instructions, it is going to be exactly the same. So Tiki Saka on the positive, there's no need to change it if it works and therefore we are not going to be. We're going to underlap left on the left hand side. Of course, we're going to play out from the back. The tempo is going to remain in the middle with this directness being set to much shorter. We're going to dribble less. We're going to work the ball into the box and we are going to have mixed crosses selected. So it is a little bit different, quite different indeed. It's very, very possession based with an underlap and option on the left, but it really worked. We kept the ball so well, I'd highly recommend it. Transition, we're going to counter press. We're going to leave this blank and we're going to play to anyone across the back line now. We've taken the short goal kicks. So obviously the wing backs are going to be close, so we can afford to have them into where we are going to play the ball to. The only reason we're not going to counter is because we do want to have more of the ball, but I didn't go with hold the shape because I feel like it was a little bit too negative. So leaving it blank was the best option. Possibly you'll be surprised, but it is going to be the high press and also the higher line. It works really well having the players a bit more compressed together, passing the ball about. We weren't defensively vulnerable because again, we're not really to attack them. So having that higher line was actually really, really beneficial. This remains the same and we are going to prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Everything else remains exactly the same as it was. But that's going to give you three variants of Pep's 3-3-3-1, a very unique system. Hopefully you enjoy these sort of random videos where we take a tactic that might not be the most commonly used, but try and get it to work in a match engine. We've done very well today. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, go over to the Patreon, see what's good over there because there's a ton of cool perks. Even if you're into your rebuilds, there's loads of stuff to get over there. But be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.